Let's write the graph for x equals 2. So when we have x equals some number, it's going to be a vertical line. So here, if x equals 2, let's go over and find here's x equals 2 right here. That's going to be a vertical line, and it'll cross the x-axis at 2. Let's put some arrows to show this goes to infinity. And that's the graph for x equals 2. Let's plot some points just to make sure we got this right. So x equals 2. x always equals 2. So we can put 2, 2, 2. And then y, that can really be anything we want. It's not written here. So we could say x equals 5, 0, and negative 5. Just some points we know will fit on our graph here. And then we can graph these points. We could have chosen other numbers, and they'd also be on the line x equals 2. So we go to x is 2, y is 5. So 2, and then y is 5. x is 2, y is 0, right there. And then x is 2, y is negative 5. Go down to negative 5. And again, we get the same graph as we got before. So when we have something like x equals some number, just the number there, it's going to be a vertical line. It won't cross the y-axis. We won't have a y-intercept there. And the slope will be undefined. This is Dr. B with the graph for the equation x equals 2. Thanks for watching.